is it? What is your obsession with Muslims, with Islam, with the Prophet Muhammad? May the blessings and peace of God be upon him. Now, today it came to my attention that someone perhaps whom you would least expect to come with subliminal attacks against the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam may the blessings and peace of God be upon him um, in their video wherein they're giving tips for gamers specifically those who play Pokemon Go had a image on one of their videos wherein they are trying to explain how to defend gyms I won't go into the details of the, the game or how it works, but basically they had an image of one of the Pokemon therein uh, with a nickname Muhammad. And at the bottom of the image, it said, Behold the Prophet. Now, I mean, it didn't say anything within the video. They didn't say, oh, look, this, this fish, haha, I named it Muhammad. Something we need to understand is that these individuals, some of them are more brazen than others. They have, you may say, more, some, someone might say courageous, but I, I say foolish because they're only harming themselves at the end of the day. You get ones that will outright attack Islam and make mockumentaries and week in, week out, day in, day out, whatever it may be, they may come at the religion with false accusations, uh, false information. And then there are others who, and God knows best why, I believe due to cowardice, they will drop subliminal digs, attacks toward Islam, and they won't say anything, but they might put a little image in their video. Um, and it's, you know... It seems as though they're, and it may not even be cowardice, this person, what they might be trying to do by dropping a image disrespecting Islam every now and then, this person may be trying to desensitize somebody by mocking the religion and trying to normalize it so it becomes... The person becomes desensitized when it comes to mockery of Islam, even a Muslim. And others who are not Muslim, due to this, um, the overt attacks against Islam and subliminal attacks against Islam. And the Pokemon that features that Pokedaxi put within his video is a Magikarp and this is considered one of if not the weakest Pokemon within the Pokemon games from the first generation going back to 1996 up until the current day so by naming that Pokemon Muhammad and saying beneath it behold the prophet this is this is clear mockery and I ask Pokedexy to be clear, to be courageous, like don't uh, run away from this question. And I'm not saying you're a coward, but I request that you do not hide away from, from this request. And you, you come and you, you say why you've put this thing out there. Is it because you have something against Islam and Muslims? Come on, be clear. There's perhaps many people that are Muslim that follow you. From the Muslim youth and perhaps the elders also, those who are adult gamers also. So be frank with your following, be frank with the people. Why did you do that? Why did you post? And, and I can't accept that you are ignorant of the fact that that image had the name of Muhammad and behold the Prophet beneath it. Do you not edit your videos? Does someone else do it for you? And if so, do you not check your videos yourself? And I request the Muslim community to not go to this guy's channel and threaten him, insult him. You can go and request that he answer for what he did. And you can share this video with those whom you know. 
with anybody who plays this game, anybody who watches his videos that you know, feel free to share with them. But I request you do not go. This is not how we should be behaving as Muslims, going and threatening people, insulting people, um, mocking people. And also, I'd like to make it clear that even if this was somebody with no subscribers whatsoever, as can be seen from my activity on YouTube, if you have a billion subscribers or have zero subscribers, if you come with something which I find unsavory and I find offensive, even if you're, listen, even if this was a Muslim behaving in a inappropriate way, attacking Christianity, you may see some videos coming from me as well. Because injustice, wherever it comes from, Muslim, Christian, whatever they may be, a Muslim should be on the side of that which is correct and that which is fair. So this isn't for subscribers. And this is not something that I will do just for the sake of defending Islam. If it's a non-Muslim that's being attacked, Christianity, Hinduism, whatever it may be, you will see me, you will see me, if it's if it's something that comes to me and it's not been dealt with by someone else, you'll see me saying, having something to say about it. And I want to conclude with something uh, as a reminder for the Muslims and as something for those who are opponents of Islam to consider. Allah says in the Quran in the 83rd chapter from verses 29 to 36, Verily, during the worldly life, those who committed crimes used to laugh at those who believed. And whenever they passed by them, used to wink to one another in mockery. And when they returned to their own people, they would return jesting. And when they saw them, they said, Verily, these have indeed gone astray. But they, i.e. the disbelievers, sinners, had not been sent as watchers over them, i.e. The, the believers. But this day, i.e. the day of resurrection, those who believe will laugh at the disbelievers on high thrones looking at all things are not the disbelievers paid fully for what they used to do